الرحمن الرحيم I'm gonna come here, miss that tree. Very, very nice. That is amazing. It has a backward sensor as well. The AI is working really, really smart and almost crashed in that tree. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Maher and welcome to Outdoors, my favorite spot. When it comes to aerial filming drones and when people want to buy aerial filming drones, the first thing that comes to mind is DJI. Yes, DJI has become the number one consumer and industrial grade drones manufacturers in the world. And for a reason. There is a reason people actually prefer. I can just probably describe it in one sentence is that when you buy a DJI product, it simply works right outside the box. Everything simply works as it's advertised. Just invested in DJI Mavic Air 2, which is right here. It's a nice little carry case, compact, small, very easy to carry and not very heavy. Now you might want to ask why did I go for DJI Mavic Air 2? What was the reason behind I bought the DJI Mavic Air 2? Is because I was looking at Skydio 2. Yes, DJI is not just number one in the world. Now the companies are popping up with even better drones. So Skydio makes one of the best top intelligent drones when it comes to follow and you know, keep the camera on the subject, no matter where the subject is going, walking, riding, riding a motorcycle, running in a thick jungle. I mean, you name it, that drone, Skydio 2, will keep following you without hitting any single object because that AI is really smart. It has a lot of cameras to detect everything around and create the world in 3D instantly and avoid all the objects. Now, I wanted to get Skydio 2 because I just wanted to have that intelligent drone following me. I don't have to hold the radio. I just ride, drive, whatever, do walk, run, ride a motorcycle or a skateboard, whatever. I wanted a drone to follow me without hitting anything. So when I spoke to Skydio 2, sorry, it's going to, going to be long, but hear me out. When I spoke to Skydio 2, they said they have no plans to ship to China, and I can understand their reasons. I can understand their reasons. When a thing, when a product, an amazing product comes to China, very soon the copies start popping out. <laughs> anyway, when Skydio said they cannot, I was looking for a drone that comes closer to that follow performance, that following the subject performance without hitting anything like a Skydio 2. And the drone that actually comes closer to that performance and reveals it is right here. And that is the reason I got the DJI Mavic Air 2 because it's APAS 3.0. Uh, I'm not concerned about OcuSync 2 or whatever 10 kilometer flight and long flight time. No, I'm concerned about my drone not hitting anything and not crashing while it's following me and following me the way like a flying loyal cameraman all the time with me so that is the reason i got the dji mavic air 2 and i can tell you i've been re i've been using it a lot and i've tested the apos and it's amazing it follows without hitting anything so that was the reason I got the DJI Mavic Air 2 and I'm really very, very happy. Once again, most of the time when I fly it, I want to use its auto features that give you stunning footage. I love the way the app actually helps you quickly edit stunning videos. You don't have to do spend a lot of time on editing. Your app does everything, the DJI app. And you can share it easily on TikTok, Douyin and other social media very, very quickly. And I love the way it flies, the precision of control, and I love the way it doesn't hit anything when it follows me, even having to have a lot of obstacles around. So, first off, let me show you what I got inside the box, and I simply loved it. 
I got this little carry case in a box, nothing else. And in this carry case, I have a DJI Mavic Air 2. I have wall adapter and three battery charger. And I got three batteries. Okay, each battery gives 34 minutes of flight time. And actually it's true, it does give me a lot of flight time. And then I love this radio, man. Look at the gunmetal finish on this. Really, when it comes to DJI products, you're gonna love the finish and the quality of components. When you take it outside the box, in your heart, you know you have invested your money in a right thing. And, and everything just simply works right outside the box. Mashallah, I simply love my DJI Mavic Air 2 and the way, mashallah again, simply it worked right outside the box. Cable, yes, you can turn the DJI Mavic Air 2 battery into, uh, you know, USB phone charger. You can charge your smart devices. There are two USB ports here. That's not it. I also have got standard accessories like propellers, ND filters, extra sticks, and USB-C cable. That's a lot of things. And when you look at the ND filters, look at that. Three ND filters and they're super easy to install. Very easy to install. Nothing to do like glue or anything. No. Just put them on, lock them, and that's it. So, this is this. Now, you know my reasons why I bought it. So what I'm going to do is, there's nothing much. I'm going to give this quad a real challenge and that is I want it to follow me in the thick of trees. Now these trees behind me, not thick enough. It will just go up and keep following me. I've tested it here at my left side and it actually does a superb job. But I want to give it more challenge. So let's bring it to the challenging spot by the riverside. And I'll take a walk in the thick of the trees and see if this can still follow me without crushing or without hitting anything so let's go okay and now it's time to give mavic air to its target so that is me i'm just gonna draw a rectangle around me skip the tutorial and say active track okay active track trace not parallel trace you don't want to do POI when you're doing obstacle things why because it doesn't have the side obstacle avoidance sensors and if the quad is moving sideways it will happily 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 embrace the object so active track spotlight no POI trace go all right now I'll walk away and it's coming good let's record recording now as you can see in front of me the trees the branches are kind of hanging so I'm just gonna put the quad down because I don't want it to actually you know hit those things I'm gonna walk in the path and look at those branches in front of me as you can see so I'm gonna turn around and see if it is still coming it's losing the altitude awesome and it's coming it's still coming cleaning the path for us or others with the wind so I'll keep walking and you can see this is still coming so far it hasn't hit any tray and it's really cleaning everything <laughs> from this path okay i'm gonna just bring it slowly that's the most close i can get with this i'm gonna keep walking while it's just still coming now you might say that this is 
a whole lot of wide area for it to avoid trees and everything now look at those naked branches okay and there's one very very close to it but it avoided it so once again you would say well this is a wide area you know and it's a piece of cake for any obstacle avoidance drones so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the thick more wait for it so how about we take it from this pagoda is it still coming is it the pagoda it's the sitting spot so what if I go in the sitting spot is it still coming So avoided everything. I'm gonna step here and look at that. This thing is still coming. I'm running out of space to move. So I'll go behind the trees. And this is a very, 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 very tricky. It's almost crashed there. It's tricky. But it managed to come out of those trees sideways it has no sensors and that's what I worry that it will hit I, okay it didn't see that stick up there so I saved it okay I just push it down now I'm going forward coming out of the thick of the trees and is it still following me which is nice man okay now there's a tree branches up and it avoided it very close proximity now I'm going to go in here look how much of a beautifully it's actually cleaning everything awesome now look at this at my side this is really very very tricky part can it do it oh 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 almost hit that branch right there so I saved it time by time you need saving it but I don't think you have to do that with a stydia do you I'm not sure so I'm gonna walk there are trees and I think it won't be able to see these you know what I'm talking about I won't be able to see these let's see actually it did see those and avoided that okay is it still coming which is oh look at those oranges these are these are those big ones ah look at this tree awesome okay so I'm gonna walk away and again this is a big nice path and it's piece of cake for the quad so I'm just gonna go in here hope I don't step on any kind of poop look at that mashallah how beautifully it's coming and I'm gonna go in watch for that tree it did avoid that tree I'm just gonna walk keep walking in the thick of the trees while it's just going up and down by itself mashallah now this is a very very tricky spot okay what would you do that branch is in front of it so I'll, I'm gonna give it a leverage I'm gonna come here miss that tree very very nice that is amazing man and it's just avoided that tree from that side and it's still coming okay I'm gonna go a little faster because here it's kind of open oh man I think this is enough testing for APOS 3.0 now let's do some backward walking so it has a backward sensor as well and it should let it avoid the backward things watch it there is the tree behind it okay <laughs> I'm just scared it won't be able to see those little things hanging there okay the AI is working really really smart and almost crashed in that tree it avoided it almost crashed that in that tree so I'm just gonna bring it 
one moment forward it's not gonna come forward so I'm just gonna walk away put it down so that it will avoid those obstacles there's a guy coming and come on come on keep coming don't wait there yes I did it avoid the guy please so I'm just gonna keep walking don't go to the guy yeah don't go to the guy keep walking and I'll stop here that's more than enough testing for a machine like this and I am absolutely very very happy with this all right I got it in my hands I believe this is more than enough testing and here's a bonus now I'm standing at a very wrong angle but I can give you one example I wish that DJI cameras had uh, quad cameras had the option to record uh, sound as well but if you want to vlog while you want a camera that follows you wherever you go without have to have any editing done like I'm doing for Insta 361 X2 camera I have to manually edit and focus myself and keep myself in the view if you want a camera that automatically follows you while you speak vlog you can use DJI Mavic Air 2 camera active track just like this. I'm walking around, I'm talking while the camera is still keeping me in its view. Though it's kind of darky darky here, but you know, you can always play with the settings. So that was a bonus tip, but you have to record sound separately for this kind of thing. All right. Still looking at me, huh? It's still tracking me. Ooh. Ooh. Is it still dragging me? <laughs> awesome. All right. All right, people. Here's my conclusion. This is in no way a comparison video from a Skydio 2 because I do not own a Skydio. And also, when it comes to compare DJI Mavic Air 2 from uh, with Skydio 2, it's going to be a little unfair because this one has only forward and rear avoidance, uh, collision avoidance sensors, while Skydio 2 have things everywhere it has cameras all around it that does the job to recreate the world in 3d around the drone and ai decides how to avoid it here once again only forward and rare obstacle avoidance sensor and dji programming the ai in there does all the calculations and decisions how to avoid all those obstacles and still keep the camera on the target solid log and keep tracking the target never lose it you have watched this a couple of time it was a very very close call but is still here in one piece never had a single hit so to say DJI Mavic Air 2 apart from all its professional aerial filming features the quality of image the quality of camera the quality of video that you can use in production movie production and film production straight away apart from all its fantastic flight features and flight characteristics the reason if you want to get a drone that will follow you everywhere without hitting anything then you must look at DJI Mavic Air 2 and basically my decision to buy Mavic Air 2 was number one I wanted this kind of intelligent following camera that will follow me everywhere never lose me always track me and always follow me without hitting anything the speed the flight time and then again the professional quality of video and photos and all those fantastic features once again and I am really amazed at how far DJI has come this is a different tech right here people so now you know my reasons why I went for DJI Mavic Air 2 rather than all those new awesome DJI drones coming out this thing still has absolutely very high value when it comes to all these features that I have demonstrated in these videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way very soon with the DJI Mavic Air and much more helicopter action. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little ding dong bell icon and turn on all notifications please so that you know 
when I upload a new video and you will be able to watch it. Comment in this video down below in the comment section and let me know what else you want to know, what else you want to see on my channel regarding DJI Mavic Air 2, drones, FP racing drones, helicopters. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.